Hey, how's it going? Welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Here are five space facts that I hope will make it even better. Number one, JAXA, the Japanese space agency, uh, makes its astronaut candidates, as part of its selection process, fold a thousand paper cranes over a weekend. This is to check how meticulously these people can work under time pressure and just compare the folds in the beginning compared to the folds at the end. I think that is absolutely brilliant and an incredibly Japanese thing to do and I should get better at origami because I am objectively terrible. Space fact number two. So you know how the Earth spins from west to east at about a thousand miles per hour, so 1600 kilometers per hour? Yeah, so most satellites are also launched in that direction, so you can use that extra velocity to get into orbit easier and carry larger loads and use less fuel and all of that. So that's a prograde, uh, progradational orbit. And there's also a retrograde orbit, which goes the other way, so you'd be flying east to west. Not a lot of satellites do that, because it doesn't make sense, but there's one country that has to, and that country is Israel. Uh, their satellites are about 30% smaller than the rest, and have to use more fuel. Uh, to get to the same orbit. Fact number three, there is a thing called photon radiation, which just means that when, a, when light hits a surface, it wants to move that surface because of like light carrying momentum and stuff, you know, Einstein, good stuff. Um, and yeah, so the guy who discovered this was this Russian bloke uh, called Peter Lebedev, who's not me, but you know, has a good name. And yeah, that's important for spacecraft, because if we didn't do this, we would be missing our celestial targets. For example, if you didn't calculate that for a Mars mission, say the Viking ones, uh, Wikipedia tells me that it would have been out by 15,000 kilometers. So, important stuff. This is also how solar sail works, which was you know, proposed by Carl Sagan way back when. Um, but it's basically this giant reflective shield, like shield that gets bombarded by uh, the solar wind and can pick up speed and travel across the universe that way. And a prototype actually launched last year with the Planetary Society, so yay Bill Nye, please teach me how to tie a bow tie because I really, really struggle. Okay, okay, one. Pull it out under. Pull it out under. Cool. Ah. I can't, I can't do this. Fact number four. Is it three or is it four? I'm gonna go with four. You know Rosetta, the thing that landed on the comet? Um, that cost 1.4 billion euros over 12 years. That sounds like a lot, but that's the price of four A380 jets. And it costs 3.5 euros each for each European citizen over those 12 years. You know, so that works out about to be 20 euro cents per year. I don't know about you, but I think that's worth the price of admission to, you know, to land on a comet and do an amazing amount of amazing science. Fact number five, the transmission message that the crew of Apollo 8 sent back after, you know, coming back from the dark side of the moon uh, on Christmas Eve 1968 was Houston, please be advised, there is a Santa Claus. Well, yeah, that's it for me for this video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I thoroughly, like, I want to be able to do this kind of stuff for the next weeks and months and hopefully years. And, you know, keep talking about science and doing cool stuff, so. Thank you so much for watching.